It is time for the UEFA Champions League knockout playoff round draw. That just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Yes, we told you we'd be back for this. We told you that we would be showing you our pain that we go through. Because I'm really excited to draw like a Liverpool. I actually want to know. Let's go to view draw. Let's go to start draw. And let's see who the seeded teams are and who the unseeded teams are. So in terms of the unseeded teams... <sighs> Why can I only see eight here? A bit sus, not gonna lie. But the unseeded teams are this, and that looks very, very dangerous, considering the fact that Borussia Dortmund's there, Athletic Madrid, OM, Liverpool are there as well. And yet we're in the seeded teams somehow, which is quite nice, but let's see who we get. So, let's start the bloody draw. Borussia Dortmund is going to get Feyenoord. Ooh, exciting. We're gonna have Napoli playing against... Celtic, ooh, that's a bit good, actually, for them. Kind of a boring game, not gonna lie, but good for Napoli. Atletico Madrid. Wait, sorry, Celtic was a seeded team? I'm speechless, they actually can win in Europe. Insane. Atletico Madrid versus Manchester City. That's a big game. That's a very good game. I want to watch that. Sporting versus Barcelona. Okay, so we're left with... Olympique Marseille, Fiorentina, Real San Sebastian, and Liverpool. Okay. Real Sebastian versus Inter Milan. Oh, no, no, no. My prediction of getting Liverpool is going to happen. Liverpool versus... What the fuck? Hi guys, Mr. Space reporting for duty. Vincent Company is a dick. Mr. Vincent Company, Mr. Ceremony host, who looks like you're without a job. Is that how it works? Yeah, you're currently not managing anyone. I can see why. Has managed to give us Liverpool. The only team I said I don't want to get. There's still Fiorentina. There's still Olympique Marseille left. And we get the hardest team out of all of them. This is unfair. One of you, one of you is playing somewhere... And he's coding something to make me get this. Who is this? Who is that person? Tell me in the comments if that's who you are. Oh my god. We're taking on Liverpool this game. Twice! I mean, we might as well finish it. Olympique Marseille is going to play Porto. Oh my god. What a week. What a week too. And then finally, that leaves Fiorentina and Manchester United. So this is the draw. We have the hardest draw out of any team in the bottom... 16 or whatever the hell on the bottom eight that they could have gotten oh why we get liverpool on the 17th of february and they also get the home advantage with the draw putting partisan riches away to liverpool's rather more modest budget what in heaven's name are you talking about you have to go as low as 24 players for me to reach a person who earns just less than what my highest person earns. A single person on their team in Mohamed Salah earns more than the entire club earns on wages. Modest f budget. Just take it easy, man. What the hell are you talking about, mate? I didn't say anything, man. But what does this do for us? Well, we're playing Liverpool here on the 17th of December, which means we have to get through three games and then play them twice over the, what, seven days. Oh my god, why? So we have finally gotten to the game against Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp is still managing the club which is fascinating in 2026 because he's going to stop in 2024. As you all know, it's not a big news. But in this universe, he decided that a break is not needed. He's just that good. But we're taking on Liverpool. I'm still seething. I'm, I'm really, really pissed off at the fact that out of all the teams, we got Liverpool. But, you know, it is what it is. We're ready to play them. But first, let me give you two massive updates. So the first thing that we need to talk about is how we finalized our transfer window. We have done some ins. We have done some outs. And the ends are quite good and exciting. First of all, we have signed Petar Ratkov, who came back to Serbia 
after a nice trip to Austria, where he seemed to have performed, well, not at all, then went to Japan, where he performed okay, and is now joining the Partizan boys for 5 million. I think he's a very good player. Obviously, for us, I think he's going to be that player that I'm basically preparing for a life for next year, where Popovich is inevitably going to leave for like a hundred million thousand dollars. I don't even know how much money he's going to go for. But basically, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for Saldana. I'm ready for Popovich to be like, look, we want to leave. We're going to leave. I don't care what you say. So I'm preparing for that. And with that, Peter Ratkov is a very, very good backup option. Yes, he's on a lot of money. Yes, we signed Oh Hyun Gyu. I think that's his name. But at the same time, he's also a very good player in the same kind of place. He is a bit taller. He looks like a very good pressing forward. Good physicals, good mentals. Technicals, not particularly the best. I think he's going to be an amazing player. 5 million is an overpay from my standards. But again, I think we're reaching that point where some of these players are going to cost money. And that's a bit annoying. And also, in my opinion, he brings me that depth from the left-hand side or the right-hand side because he's left-footed. And we can use him... Yeah, not the best pace, although to be fair, not the worst pace. We can use him as a Saldana replacement if we ever need it. I mean, comparing them two together, I think Saldana is still a little bit better from the attacking point of view. But Petr Ratkov is young and he's Serbian, which is quite exciting. This signing, I'm going to be honest right now, this signing was some bullshit. Because the reason why I signed him is because his name was interesting, Len Mintran, and I thought, ooh, is this guy going to be a Vietnamese player? And he does have Vietnamese nationality which is quite interesting to me. I want to have a Vietnamese international player on my side. Maybe after he plays with us and trains up with us a little bit, he can be good enough for the Vietnamese national team. I don't know if he's ever going to be good enough to be on the English national team and definitely not the Belgian squad. But he looks... I mean, he looks okay. He's a young player. We signed him for 1.8 million. Again, at this moment, anyone from Europe is going to cost more than a million, which is something that we have to do. Yes, I'm throwing money around. No, I don't care. Nothing much to say about this guy, apart from the fact that he has a cool name, and that's why I signed him. In terms of transfers out, we have let some people out on loan, but the biggest sale that we have done is we sold Matij Stepanovic. A very, very good player, a very good backup option. He's currently playing in Liga Uber Eats, and he's actually managed to play a game off the bench, which is quite exciting. He's a very good player. He's done okay in, well, Spain last year. He's a very good backup option for us. Unfortunately, I can kind of understand why he didn't get game time before I came in. He doesn't seem to develop. I think in FM, he just spawns at the highest current ability he can be. And that's where he's at. So, I mean, a good player. Two point, how much? Two point, one point nine million plus 30% sell-on clauses is a very good deal. But he goes for five years to Laurent, which is quite an exciting thing for him. Hopefully, they'll give him some game time. I think they're not the worst team out of there. They're 12th above Montpellier, which is quite nice kind of safe from the relegation so maybe he'll he'll enjoy some years in a big league and obviously don't forget Liga Umberitz is much higher so for him it's a jump up regardless of if he's a squad player but he's a squad player at ours so kind of makes sense there and the other big update is the fact that we had three games where we managed to score a lot of goals first game was against Tekšelak 5-0 Illich with a goal Milovanovic with a double Andrei Borz is scoring a goal and then they scored an own goal to help us out we, this game, we started trying out some new players. I think uh, Janos made his debut, which is nice. Uh, oh Hyung-gyu played some good games as well. Milovanovic, obviously, with a double. Next up, we played TSC, where we actually gave debuts to Lenmintron off the bench and Petr Ratkov, who scored a goal on his debut, which is actually very, very nice. And apart from that, obviously, Saldana scored, Ratkov scored, Lachlandine scored, and Oh Hyung-gyu scored their first goals as well. Absolutely exciting. And the game before this, we played Radnik 3-2. It looks... Closer than it actually was. It was not. We were winning a lot. We just scored two own goals because we're that good of a team. The squad was slightly rotated. We had uh, Filipovic on the right, uh, Fitikani in the mid in the midfield, or by the midfield, I mean center back. Antic playing, obviously. Uh, Stankovic playing Oh Hyung Yu. Vivieros actually on the go on score sheet as well, which is nice. So pretty much from all the players that we've signed from the attacking players, they've gotten goals already, which is nice. This will be the starting lineup for today's game. We are missing Nandes, which is unfortunate. And I think we can't play Ratkov. And I think we can't play Tran anyways, because they're we signed them too late. God bless the Serbian um, transfer window. Absolutely amazing. But this is going to be the lineup. I'm Honestly, I think these guys can do it. We're going to have Hudikov in goal. Vitek is going to play with Milinkovic, just because Illich is a little bit tired. I think it's a ne decent partnership. Uh, Vitek is slowly improving. Not to where I think he... Well is i think he can be much better than he is but he's improving which is good then on the left hand side we're gonna have borza followed by stamenich followed by basic as an inverted wingback 
Belich and Deans in the midfield. We're going to have Alilovic, Moinata, and Popovic leading the line. And with that in mind, I think that's pretty much it. We have a lot of good options on the bench now. We have lots of nice attacking options, defensive options, all kinds of options, which is very, very nice. And the team is probably as best as we can be. Yes, we're missing Nandes, but I think this is a very, very nice side. Smash the like button if you think we have a chance today, because for every like, we get an extra percentage chance of winning against Liverpool, and we need all the help we can get. Anyways, hopefully these boys can do it. I'm excited. You're excited. Let's freaking go. So looking at their starting lineup, it looks like maybe there's some disrespect there. It doesn't look like they're full squad. Where are some of their players? And that's Neves. I wonder if that's Zhao which would be kind of scary, or if it's Ruben Neves, which would be kind of interesting. I did forget to mention why Moinat is starting over Saldana. Uh, Saldana is just also just a smidge tired. Unfortunately, because of the way that I put my star options, he's also wanting to play more games. <laughs> so I have to play him in the weaker games, and I misjudge slightly. Honestly, that's what happens. But I'm excited. Liverpool is a massive, massive side. Why did we have to get them, man? It's so unfair. And I mean, if you're a Liverpool fan, you would be a little bit happy because... On paper, we're one of the weaker sides left, regardless of the fact that there's like sportings and stuff like this. On paper, on reputation, we're not the best. We have done really good against some of the better teams, but, you know, the, the respect isn't caught up yet. Although, what's catching up is our beautiful pass-through as Basic lines up a shot and just misses it. And that was a nice little patient play. Yes, Borza seemed to rush it a bit, but Basic took a nice shot from outside the box. I, I can respect that. Although I am thinking about it now, Basic is a right back. What was he doing so far centrally up front? I know he's meant to kind of cut inside as an inverted wingback, but he doesn't need to cut in all the way as a striker, does he? It's hilarious. That's an awful pass that we play. Georgias finds himself with lots of space. Diego Jota exposes our back and 1-2 and only a post can save us. Only a freaking post can save us. That was some alarm bells going off. Very, very loud alarm bells, mind you. And we need to kind of wake up. Maybe we should switch to balance just to kind of chill out a bit because Liverpool will, will abuse our the gaps that we make. And we make lots of gaps with the way we play. And hopefully it's the post again. Yeah, so hopefully that balance is going to come up clutch in about, well, whenever the hell this loads in. There we go, it's loaded in. So hopefully that helps. They do have a corner. Have they been practicing? They don't have Van Dijk. Ooh, I just realized they didn't have Van Dijk. Where's Van Dijk? Zabolzai. Lines up a shot, misses. Where's Van Dijk? Uh, Salah's not playing. Virgil Van Dijk is not playing. Darwin Nunes is injured. So they are rotating their side to take us into account. Hope that bites them in the ass. I mean, so far, nothing much has happened, which is probably a good thing from our end. We want to hold on to our play as long as we can. And in terms of the way statistics are panning out, minus the shooting, we're doing okay don't forget, this is a Liverpool side that is much better than us on paper. And that's another shot from Sabolazai. They are making lots of inroads into our attacks. Hudikov is the only person on our team who's doing well. Okay, to be fair, Stamenich is as well. Our front three is doing bad. And thankfully, Borza and Basic are also on good ratings, which means we don't get destroyed on the wings, which is the strong side of Liverpool. Although, is there a weak side of Liverpool? But they do deserve to be up by a lot. And our possession has sunk through. So I wonder if it's time for some subs... I don't know. I think the first thing I'm going to do is make our passing much shorter. I want to keep hold of the ball a bit more. And I may take off Alilovic for someone. Should I try and put Ohyung Gyu on and switch for Popovic so we can kind of control the play a bit more? Ohyung Gyu has had two goals in the last two games and he does have a little bit of pressing. Maybe I should even do something like this. Maybe as a pressing forward and then have Popovic as a shadow striker. Maybe that will help a little bit up front with our pressing and then we could counter a bit more because everything is fine but i want better i mean we have a corner of our own 51st minute basic can you do something borza wins the header oh hyung Yu does not get to it quick enough and i think that was actually milinkovic that would have been a beautiful time for him to score his first goal for the club since he left i don't know if he scored for us before but anyways that's a ma i mean I, I can't believe that we have milinkovic i'm so happy so it is, in fact, Jao Neves. Yeah, it is. So they signed a wonder kid player, which is, I mean, to be fair, that is to be expected. He's amazing, and he is due to sign for some big teams very, very soon. And I'm sad that it's not us. It would have been nice to have Jao Neves for Partizan, but, you know, it is what it is. We don't have that much money yet, because a single 100 million purchase is going to destroy the club. Elliot finds himself in the... El Elliot finds himself on the wing, and Stamenich is trying to get a red card. 
be scary. But Zhao Neves is playing the ball back. We need to press out, guys. I don't like that we're sitting so deep. We don't need to. We managed to get the ball far away, but it's kind of still scary as Rafinha cuts in, finds Georgias, who finds the back of the net. 19 goals he scored. 19 goals! Is he that good? Is he that good? I mean, that was a very, very, very good shot. Good into play between Rafinha and Georgias, or whatever his name is. Ah... Uh. Beautiful pass. Unfortunately, I think that was either v that was probably Vitek as well, not covering. But is he that good? Oh dear God, he is. Oh wow, I can't believe this guy played for Coventry a few seasons back. That's ridiculous. Wow. I mean, he scored plenty of goals everywhere he went. Yeah, for fair enough. I mean, we need to do something new. Um, after this highlight, I am gonna start thinking about some subs. Because Popovic is unfortunately not doing it, Muenata is not doing it. It's time to bring the boys back out, I think. Saldana has to come on, and I don't know who's going to be the Popovic replacement. But we're not doing good. As you can see, everyone's starting to collapse a little bit. Elliot lines up a shot, and that was a chance for them to go 2-0. So before it gets too bad, I'm going to make some subs here. So I think I'm going to put on... Do I put on Milodanovic? No, I won't. I will put on Viveros as a shadow striker. That way he can learn how to play there. First of all, that's our plan. And I think instead of Deans, I am going to put Miladinovic on. Because last time he came on, he did really, really good. Moinata has to come off for Saldana, that's for sure. And it worries me that Borza is on 6.6, .6, but we don't have anyone better yet. Because Filipovic, Filipovic is on the bench. I'm going to wait for one more minute, or for some time. Get some subs and see what happens. And then adjust, because... I don't want to risk that one sub in case I want to go with two strikers and move up my midfield a bit higher. But, I mean, 1-0 away would not be the worst result, but at the same time, we're not creating anything. And when you're kind of playing the way we're playing, that he's offside. He has to be offside. It's a good save anyways, but he's offside. But yeah, I want more. Look at that, four shots, one on target. We have the possession. And we have Miladinovic injured. There we go. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. See, I feel vindicated now for a change. And now Faticanti is going to come on. And I think we have to go a bit more positive. I mean, unfortunately, not a good game. We couldn't recapture the magic of the other games that we've had against big teams. But it's 1-0. Which means there's still a lot of things to play for. Daniel Hudikov once again had a man-of-the-match performance against a massive side. And I'm worried how long Miladinovic is going to be out. But hey, we're going to play the Vozodats game off camera. And then we're going to play Liverpool game in a bit. So don't go anywhere. You're going to see the next game right now. Okay, for the second leg against Liverpool, we have this newly updated side. So I made some changes. First of all, Saldana is going to start this game. Because why the hell didn't I start him last game? And he's getting annoyed at me that I'm not playing him. Which is a problem. Also, Muinata and Oh Hyung Gyu are going to be the guys starting for us today because Popovic hasn't scored in a while and I didn't like how Alilovic played for us last game, which sucked. But apart from that, I think the only big difference is Nandes is playing on the right-hand side and Basic is moving into the carry yellow role. And I think, moving these two around, we are ready for the squad. We're going to have Hudikov and goal, Ilic and Milinkovic in the back two, Borza, Stamenic, Nandes, Belic, Basic, Muinata, Saldana and Oh Hyun Gyu. Man... 1-0 against Liverpool. We have a chance still. If we come up clutch in this game, it'll be absolutely incredible. We can have one more sub. We can have one more sub. Is that is that legit? Can we have one more sub? Who do you want? Let's put Goran on. Yeah, we can... Oh, no, wait. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I, I don't want to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, this game is weird. 11 out of 12. Maybe Milovanovic is not going to be able to play. I don't know. He's wanted by Tottenham. <gasps> Anyways, this will be the team that's going to play against Liverpool. I am scared. You're scared. Let's just be scared together. You're scared and embarrassed because you don't even have a plan. I think the big question is, will Liverpool take us seriously today? The answer is I don't know. <laughs> That's the honest answer. Yes, they're playing Salah. Yes, they're playing Van Dijk. Georges is still up front. And the squad doesn't look that changed. But I think Diaz is playing. I don't know if he played last game. But this time we're playing at home. And we're normally quite good at playing at home. We'll see how it works against Liverpool. I think my tactic does not work against a 4-3-3 formation. Although I do remember... Maybe it worked again. I don't remember the tactic Borussia used. 
But man, it's the Champions League. We're at home. We got a chance. Anytime we play, we got a freaking chance. I mean, so far, not so good. We haven't done anything. Virgil Madaik has a chance. And with that in mind, because we're not creating anything, it's time for us to up the pace. I think we need to go... We need to counter them. We need to start countering them. I don't know if the underlaps are going to be particularly the best at this moment in time. But I think that's the plan. We need to speed up the pace. If we're not going to have... Just look at this. If we're not going to have any chances and any possession, what's the point of even trying? Let's just send it up. Let's just counter. Let's hopefully catch them on the break because they're a fast team. They push up a lot. And if we manage to counter them, maybe we can do something. But so far, again, nothing much is happening. And we rolled up straight away to the half time. And we need some subs straight away because nothing is working. I mean, first things first, we need to tell them that they've been crap. And I think we take a risk. We play with two strikers. I think that's got to be the plan, surely. We will take off... Do we take off Stamich? Who's tired? Nandes is tired. I'm going to take off Basic. I'm going to bring in Stamenich. Switch these two around. And then I'm going to bring up, instead of Nandes, I'm going to bring up... Who can I bring up? Vivieros, I think. Or maybe... No, I'm going to bring Popovic because... Yes, I don't trust the way he's been playing, but at the same time, I think he's an amazing, amazing player. Actually, no, I'm going to switch him around and set him to a pressing forward to hopefully, you know, chase that ball a little bit more. And I think we do something a bit smart. We drop these guys a bit back. Yes, poor Basic is going to be playing so many formations. Hopefully we don't get countered. We need to send the ball up as fast as we can. Man, we're losing anyways. Why, 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 won't, why not take a risk? Okay, we've reached the 17th minute and I think Liverpool is parking the bus or something because nothing is happening. So I'm going to send on Moyinata instead of Saldana and I'm going to take off and bring on Alilovic to bring some pace. Ohyungyu is not doing good, so I'm going to bring in Milovanovic and then switch him as an advance forward so he runs around a little bit whilst Popovic will be the poacher, hopefully catching in some balls that Milovanovic manages to knock, well, not knock down, but like chase and stuff. Hopefully that works. I think in terms of everything else, we do wait a little bit because someone might get hurt. And a beautiful save by Hudikov, which I didn't see, but the ball's in his hands. Two shots, zero on target. Better possession, even though we're lumping it forward. Demand more, attacking. I don't know what else we can do, man. At this moment, we just need to chase because they're not creating anything. They're not even trying. And we aren't as well. We did have some phases of play where we are doing something, but it's not working. So I think we're going to switch... Do some more things. So I think Alilovic is going to go play the Cariello. I'm going to see if I can play a winger on the left-hand side. And I think I can. I'm going to actually try... Not Saranats. I'm going to try... Can I... Can I be creative? Do I have any strikers? I do. What if I bring in Milovanovic on the right-hand side? Also, another guy who's confused by my constant position changes. And I'm going to bring in Vivieros, who's also... He's not known for his pace, but he should be known for his finishing. And just... Play wider, dribble less, just pass the ball into space. We need to start making something up. I think Filipovic will have to come off as well. We do have a sub, yes. Just basically give us some more legs in the midfield or in the defense. And we need to hope that does something. We need to go encourage the boys. Push on, guys. 90th minute. We need to have something. There's a highlight. That's exciting. There's a highlight. Can we get a goal from this? Or will we concede a goal? Stamenich plays it poorly to Salah. Stamenich, you didn't need to. Stamenich, you didn't need to. Curtis Jones is on the ball. They've slowed it down, thankfully. Ball comes into Mohamed Salah, who's offside. What a beautiful pass to Georgias. It's offside anyways. And wow. That was a chance. Please, no. This is not the way we go out. This is the way we go out. I've accepted it. And it's done. We are not good enough yet. We're not ready there. Honestly, nil-nil against Liverpool. We haven't created much. I can't complain. We don't have the skills to be that good yet, I think. Man, we're not ready yet. We were the underdogs. Man, why do we have to pick Liverpool? And with that, unfortunately, our run in the Champions League has completed. Not gonna lie, we were completely wrecked. We had the best season we've ever had in the Champions League. We've beaten some big teams. And of course, the lowest seeded team that we managed to get is freaking Liverpool, man. How unlucky. Van Dijk got a highest man match rating, which says a lot about the way they played. Klopp was pleased. I, man, he says they deserved it. And I'm not even going to pretend that that's not the case. We are knocked out, unfortunately. We did have some very good 
very good chances. We, we're doing a good job. We're building a very nice project. And as long as half these players don't leave, you know, we have a good chance to create something special. So what does this mean for us? Well, I will get back to you. I know I'm playing Tyrannos as the here, but I'll get back to you when something interesting happens because I want to continue building the, the momentum. Maybe I'll see you at the end of the season at this rate because the league is not super interesting for us right now. But the fact that we're losing against Liverpool is. And you know what? That sucks. And also Popo is facing a confidence crisis. Man, how awful. Anyways, I'm sorry for this loss today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Regardless, we're playing well. We're responding well to big teams. We're just, we're just that bit away from actually having a good chance. How unfortunate. But I hope you guys had a good one. I'll see you in the next episode, whenever it may be. Oh my god. So close. But yet, so far, guys. So far. Bye, guys.